most of the things that are making people sick today, uh, it's not communicable disease, it's behavior. And so we need more physicians that are prepared to help patients change behavior. There's lots of good that, that can be done by bringing different professionals together, uh, by, by working closely in partnership with, with patients and their families, by getting out of the office and going to the home setting, and then, and then by actually better coordinating care across healthcare settings. Which means they get highly coordinated, highly concentrated care. What makes this, for me, an ideal place to work is that we have providers from many disciplines. Usually there's a physician intensely involved, there's at least a nurse case manager, we have social work involved, we have pharmacy involved, we have psychology very well involved. It's a pretty big team um, dedicated to providing families services that they need. I think the challenge of the future for physicians will be how do you participate in a team, how do you do collaboration, how do you involve yourself with other expertise and use it and make yourself available to it. Collaboration is the only way it works. We have had uh, care teams that will meet and actually discuss certain patients in each of the offices. So they'll have the psychologist, one of the physicians, uh, the care coordinator, somebody from the nursing staff, and they'll actually meet and sit and discuss the, the more complex patients to try to meet those needs. There are some conditions where having a robust uh, set of practitioners with different skill sets on a team makes an incredibly significant difference in outcomes for uh, that specific patient. And I think mm -hmm. we've seen that happen quite a bit. What I think is crucial is the level of expertise on the team, that you don't have to have somebody with a doctoral degree delivering every piece of the service. What you do have to have is a substantial well of expertise when it doesn't go by the book. We all come to the table sort of knowing what those various levels of expertise are and appreciating that they all just grow and expand by virtue of collaborating. I'm part of the Super Utilizer team, a team of a nurse who's the case manager, the fellow um, who's an MD, pharmacy students, myself, and we kind of all work together. We will actually meet before patient sessions and go over behavioral aspects of the patients that we will be seeing that day, almost like a pre-rounding approach, uh, and discuss you know, psychopharmacology and, and different options for, for the patient as well, uh, which, is, which is very helpful. I think we promote in all of our health centers a living laboratory of multidisciplinary you know, ed education. It's best to be training psychologists and physicians who are going to work together to be training them together so that we learn to talk the same language and we learn each other's strengths and we learn the skill sets and how to best use them and work together. The longer we work together, the more expert we each get at what the other one does. We improve the quality of patients' lives and we keep them out of the hospital and that is, you know, I'm very passionate about this work.